Hey guys, it's Young Mind HS here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to increase Steam download speeds. So, I've let this download for uh, Skyrim run for a little bit now, just so we can get the averages, and it's averaging between 2 megabytes per second and 4 megabytes per second. Now, as you can see, at this current rate, it'll take another 20 minutes, but we can get that a bit better. So, before I get into the true optimizations, just go over a couple of simple things. Obviously, you'll get higher download speeds if you're not using the internet on any other devices. So don't be watching YouTube on your phone, or YouTube videos on your computer, or anything like that. You basically want the download to be the only process happening on your network. Now, for the next step, you want to hit Steam, go to Settings, Downloads, and then at this point we want to go to the link in the description and then this will give you a map so um, I'm going to do this for me because I live in the United Kingdom I live around here which is uh, Scotland and then at the moment as you can see from Steam I am connected to UK London but as you can see um, UK London, well the UK in general, takes up 3.1% of Steam's global traffic. So my PC needs to connect to the server that is around here. And then it will basically be put in a queue to get the data it needs. But there is also a server in Ireland, which is here, which is basically the same distance. But as you can see, that is getting 0.1% of global traffic. So it'll be way less wait times than if I was trying to connect to London. You can do this for basically anywhere, you just want to look at the map. So say if you lived in... Uh, I'll do America, because I know I have a lot of American viewers out there. Um, you would want to click on Show US States, so you could see the individual states. And then, for example, if you lived in... Um, yeah, if you lived in Florida, uh, you might want to connect to Alabama, Mississippi, South Carolina, you know, because they have way less internet consumption and you will get on that queue to receive your data much faster. So now we're going to go back in here and find Ireland. Israel, Italy, Ireland. There we go. Now, the next thing we're going to do is set the bandwidth limit to nothing. Allow downloads during gameplay off, and for all downloads while steaming, off. Then we want to hit OK, and we need to restart Steam. So, now that we restart, it'll take a couple of seconds. I'll need to log in again, and then let's have a look. So, we're just going to let this run for a few seconds. And then we'll see if it goes above what we were getting before, and how much by. Definitely for different people this has different results. It also depends on uh, where you live, like if there's closer servers, how much you know traffic it was getting. For me, as you can see, it is uh, 9 in the morning, so the London one wouldn't have been getting loads of traffic anyway, but we should still see an increase. As you can see, we're already above the peak that we had before. We were at 4.3 before. And we were averaging around 3.5. Now it's staying pretty solidly around that 4.3 mark. And I reckon if I left it on a bit longer, it would go much higher. Leave down in the comments how uh, much this boosted your download speeds by. And let me know if you want me to do any different guides or just how to increase download speeds in general, not for Steam specifically. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. But, till next time, I'll see you soon. Oh.